summer of God in the name of Jesus. I live in Osadava, I yandava sent a velevati that tonight in this place the Lord will bring us. I yandava sent a velevati, I your son of us sent a velevati, I yaleven a men of Sabadaba, I yandava sadaba, I yandavenova your satan a meni, I your son of us for no man has met God and left the same in the name of Jesus. I yandava sent a velevati, therefore we declare that I expectations will never be cut short in the name of Jesus. I am the venom scientist and let the venom and also there shall be a complete turnaround in the name of Jesus. I am the boss and everybody who encounter God in a way we've never done before in the name of Jesus. I let the venom sadaba that our hearts will desire the Lord in the name of Jesus. That tonight right here in this place is going to be our focus. Alimeno Sadabaya, Ayanda Veno Satanda Badi, Lede Venemeno Sadaba, Ayanda Vasenda Badi, Ayo Senda Satana Badi, Lede Venemeno Sa, Ayanda Vasenda Badia, Lede Venemeno Satana Badi, Lede Vada Bosaba Babaya, Ayanda Veda Veo Satana Badi, Lede Veno Sanda Baya, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My last prayer point before I leave, I want us to pray, reading from the book of Ephesians chapter 3, verse 16. Paul says that, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being. That he may grant you to be strengthened with power in your inner with through his spirit in your inner being that he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being that he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being in the name of Jesus this is our last prayer this evening that the Lord that the Lord will grant us to be strengthened with power through his spirit in our inner being in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus want to open up your mouth and begin to pray I am the Veno Sandava I let the venom and no certain ability. I am the boss of the bar that he may grant us to be strengthened with power through his spirit in our inner being. In the name of Jesus, I am the boss of the body. I am your science, I live in Osa. I am the venom and no certain. I am your send of an Osa Calabade. I am the boss of the body. Let the venom and no certain ability. Rather, boss of the bar. I am the boss of the body. I am Santa Ba and let the venom and no certain ability. I am the boss and the bed. I am Santa Satan and Medosa. I rather boss of the bar that we may be strengthened. That we may be strengthened. That we may be strengthened. I am Santa Ba. I am Santa Ba in our inner man through his spirit in the name of Jesus. I am the boss and the bed. I am Santa Ba. I am the venom and no and let the and let the and let the that may be strengthened, that we may be strengthened, that we may be strengthened. I live in Osadaba, I am the boss center in our inner man true spirit in the name of Jesus, that we may be strengthened, that we may be strengthened. I live in Osadaba, I your center of Edosa. We will not fight in the name of Jesus, we will not lose heart in the name of Jesus, we will be strengthened, we will be steadfast in the name of Jesus. I live in Osadaba, I am the boss and the metal, I rather boss and the I am the boss and the metal, I rather 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 boss and the metal, in our inner man true spirit in the name of Jesus I am the boss of the bar 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 I
working out for me. See, I will be the head and not the tail. A puffin I'll be need. No weapon for the dead, we shall prosper. It's turning around for I will be, I will be the head, not the tail. A puffin I'll not be No weapon for the dead, we shall prosper. It's turning around.
your hands. Go clap your hands. Sing, go clap.
Hallelujah. Why don't you give the Lord a shout? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look for your neighbor. Look for your neighbor. Look for your neighbor. Hallelujah. Look for a neighbor. Tonight is literal ascetic corrosive for the devil. Hallelujah. Look for your neighbor. Look for your neighbor. Look for your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, you are at the right place at the right time. Neighbor, I am telling you that you have found yourself at the right place at the right time. Listen, if you have found yourself at the right place at the right time, why don't you give the Lord a shout and add a jump to it? You want to give the Lord a shout and add a jump to it? Give the Lord a shout! Hallelujah! Hey! 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 hey. Shout! Hallelujah. You see, I always tell you guys, when, when, when we come together like this, and you don't sweat, you don't sweat, and you go home, and you are washing your clothes, it's a sin, because you've not sweat. You came here, you didn't do anything. You go home, you are washing your soap. You are washing your dress. It's, it's, it's a sin. But when you come here and you sweat like this, and you go home and you are washing, you know you are washing something off. Give the Lord a shout! Hallelujah! Turn to your neighbor, turn to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, tonight is the Holy Ghost experience. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready? Hallelujah. You want to lift up hands with me. You want to begin to speak in the language of the Spirit. Paul says that when we speak in tongues, we speak in mysteries. Hallelujah. You want to begin to speak in the language of the Spirit. You want to open your mouth and begin to speak in the language of the Spirit. Jude 1 20 says that, but my beloved, building up yourselves on your most hospital feet by praying in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to take our first prayer point. Acts chapter 2 verse 17. And it shall come to pass in the last days, say it the Lord, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your young and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Somebody say prophesy. Prophesy. Oh, say prophesy. prophesy. And your young men shall see vision. Say vision. 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 And your old men shall dream dreams. Hallelujah. One who asks the Lord that as he has promised in the book of Acts 2 verse 17 that he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Lord, upon this promise we wait for you. Lord, I want to manifest the word. You want to manifest what God has said. Jeremiah said that, and thy words were found. And I ate them and they became joy unto me. Tonight, whatever God has said in Acts 2 verse 17, that he is pouring out his spirit upon us in these last days. You want to say, Lord God, let your spirit come upon me. Lord God, let me prophesy. Lord, let me see visions in the name of Jesus. You want to open your mouth wherever you are in the auditorium and say, Lord God, let your spirit come upon me. Let there be an outpour of your spirit upon my life. Matimini shwata, regedesh etempedia, ratudimi kepa. Rapatu wa kapanta, 
la gada swada ita la bado shagada la bada shagada we need the spirit of god he said unto zerubbabel not by might not by power but by my spirit says the lord the bible says that when the holy spirit has come upon you you shall be my witness upon in judea jerusalem unto the outermost part of the earth you want to say lord god today may i receive the holy spirit let there be an outpour of the holy spirit upon my life in the name of jesus pour your holy spirit upon me let your holy spirit rest upon me in the mighty name of jesus he has given us the promise we are carrying the bible said in acts that the apostles they gathered together in the upper room waiting for the holy spirit tonight we are gathered here waiting for the holy spirit let there be an outpour John 14 verse 16 John 14 verse 16 Jesus is saying that and I will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever somebody say abide with me forever John 16 verse 13 how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall use whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come hallelujah you want to say lord i do not want to live my life without direction i don't want to live my life without any direction but you want the holy spirit to lead you you want the holy spirit to guide you in your academic in your finance whatever you find yourself doing you need the leadings of the holy spirit hallelujah if you agree with me begin to speak in the realms of the spirit and begin to speak in tongues and say lord god let the spirit lead me as your word has said let your spirit guide me in the name of jesus he says the spirit will tell you to turn right and left and you will see you will follow tonight you want to say lord god let your spirit lead me let your spirit guide me let your spirit protect me let your spirit give me direction let it order me into all truth let my no shadia repent in me kappa let the shamana father lord as the scriptures has made me understand let your spirit god teach me all things let your spirit lead me in the name of jesus man Rapa Yakapa, Mantan Dinini, Rapa da Shepete, Repa Luakapa, Mantan Pete, Rapa da Shadamediapa, Father Lord, let your spirit give me directions, let your spirit guide me, make it a swatia, Mantan Dinini Kapa, Rapa Yakapa, Ayuapa Yuakapa, Antaluaba, Rapa da Shadamediapa, Makato Shah. Le mano sadabadia pa rapada shabe in the name of Jesus hallelujah finally you want to say lord god let me not miss why i came here tonight that as i'm encountering the prophet lord god as you are coming to speak through him lord god may i not live here the same let there be a holy ghost touch let there be a holy spirit touch hallelujah you want to say i don't want to live here the same i came with problems i have come to dump them at the feet of jesus that as i'm living here tonight let me carry the holy spirit away in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray the father tonight let me not go back the same lord god when you pass Lord God, let me have a touch of you. Let me have a feel of you. Magu seve, rete de shwedia, intemini anta, rapata shebede, le maya kapa, rangu ni mi kapa, rete de shebede. 
Lord God, tonight, I don't want to go the same. Lord, I don't want to go the same. Let me have a touch of you. Lord, touch me as I'm standing in prayer. I am waiting in prayer, Lord God. Touch me. The Bible said, when Christ came to pass, He said, Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David, tonight, have mercy on me. Lord God, let me have a feel of you. Let me have a touch of you. Lord, tonight, may I encounter divinity. May I encounter divinity in the name of Jesus. Lord, tonight, may I encounter divinity. Makuda Shadia, Rabada Shabade, Rema Papa, Radumini Esther, Regade Shadabedi Apa, Matampede, Rebede Shadabedi Apa, Rabada Sir, Rebedo Shadabadi Apa, Rabada Sir, Rema No Shaba, Radunini Esther, Iapelwa Kapa, Rabada Shabade. Remano Shadabadi Apa, Vesta Lemedeme, Rapayua Kapa, Mantem Tempe, Lemaya Kapa, Rakumini Ete, Remano Shadabadi Apa, Rapayua Kapa, Yepeta Shadane, somebody give the Lord a shout! Continue to bless the name of the Lord, continue to bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Come on, open your mouth. Yata bashaka na dabakaya. Ira dabashande lebos kana damahaya. Yes, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Lift up your voice. Bless the name of the Lord. Andelebo se rada rekaya. Ibo se kanata. Imata skeleborosa. That is why you are here tonight. That is why you are here tonight. Lift up your voice. Do not be silent. Come on, lift up your voice. Bless his name.
Tonight is a night where we fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And I want us to do something little in our own small space. Be sensitive. Be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit. He's about to move in our midst. He's about to turn lives around. He's about to set destinies on course. He's about to change destinies for the better. He's about to turn around your situation. That sick parent in the house is about to be healed. It will surprise you what the Lord has done tonight. Just be sensitive. Somebody speak in the language of the Holy Ghost right now. Yes, I am the Bacano Sekada Bahai.
together for Jesus and give the Lord a mighty shout. That is a shout. Now give the Lord a mighty shout. take your seats. I want you to wave someone, say hello to someone. Tell someone that the Holy Spirit is here. Connect, connect to the atmosphere because it's saturated. Amen? Amen. 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 Okay, let's kindly take our seats. All right, so as we all know, this is the Holy Ghost experience. I don't know what your expectations are, but I hope you are ready for something because the Holy Spirit is going to be your show boy in this service. He's going to show you something. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So I just want to share something short. So um, the Bible says in James chapter 1, verse 6 to 7, that the one who has wavering faith, let not such a person imagine that he will get what he asks for. When I read it this morning, I was shocked. I was like, hey, so that means if you don't have faith and you ask God for something, like forget to cost 90. So whatever expectations that you are here with, I want you to come boldly. Ask God, be confident. Let your faith be grounded let it know waver. Amen? Yes, because it comes to do something great. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, you guys don't sound like young people Woo! at all. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so without wasting any much time, we'd like to invite the ATU New Breed Praise and Worship team as they lead us through an awesome time of offertory. Oh, please, we can do better for them. Oh, you can do better for Jesus. You can do better for Jesus. Oh, you can do better for Jesus. Say glory. Oh, I can hear you shout glory. A big greeting from ETO campus to all of you. And we thank God once we are here again. And I'm about to minister a short, very short ministration. But I pray that as you follow the song ministration, the Spirit of God will fill your heart. Hallelujah. And when I meet the youth like this, I'm very, very happy because this is where we can have an intimacy with the Holy Spirit. Are you with me? Can you begin to speak in the spirit of the language? Shalabadama. I have more than a song. He's my mentor today. I brought myself, I am the sacrifice, I am more than a song, today, I brought myself, I am your Yes. 
Somebody give the Lord a shout of praise. I there some praises in the house. Give the Lord a mighty shout of praise. Amen. Amen. Oh, is that all you can do? Let it resound in this atmosphere. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready? Abode, abode. It's going to get bigger, better, and greater. Do you believe that? Oh, do you believe that? Change my story. Change my story. Even living 
shall flow rivers, rivers of living water.
It's not the best you can do to your maker. Hey, let me be your prayer. If you are ready for the Holy Ghost experience, I want you to give the Lord a mighty shout. Let the heavens hear you. Let the heavens hear you. Let the heavens hear you. I want to see two or three people who are ready for the move of God. Give the Lord a shout. Tell your neighbor, get ready, get ready, get ready. Tell your neighbor, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, 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 Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Where are the people from Accra Technical University? If you are from Accra Technical University, give the Lord a shout! Uh, I'm not feeling you. Maybe I should move to University of Professional Studies, Accra. If you are from UPSA, give the Lord a shout! You are still too gentle. Maybe I should move to Hacho. If you are from Academic City, give the Lord a shout! And if you are from the University, if you are from the Premier University of Ghana, Legon, give the Lord a shout! your energy I'm loving your energy and then there's one group of people if you are an old student of any university give the Lord a show all students associations where are you where are you where are you where are you, where are you? Oh, hallelujah and then we have those watching us online especially KNUST They've gathered together to watch us. Put your hands together for KNUST, the only university. Put your hands together for them. You may, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. How many of you are ready for a Holy Ghost experience? I can't feel your energy. How many of you are ready for a Holy Ghost experience? The Bible said about a man called Blind Bartimaeus that his shout was louder than anybody's shout and so Jesus heard him, if you are ready for a Holy Ghost experience, let your shout be louder than your neighbor's shout. I said let your shout be louder than your neighbor's shout. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The stage is set, the atmosphere is ripe, God is ready to speak to us. And we have a great man in our midst. He, he brought us here. He's the convener of this meeting. He loves the youth so much. He has a passion for them. He's the senior pastor of ICGC Holy Ghost Temple. 
He's the original overseer of the Accra North region. He's a presbytery member. He's a member of the Central University Council. If you are ready for God with a standing ovation and a shout, and you can add a jump to it, you want to welcome ministering this evening our very own prophet Christopher. Yo, and now put your hands together and give a Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Am I among the youth? Then give me a youthful shout. Just, just shout. Listen to me. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Anytime he comes upon men and women, they are not bothered. It brings some kind of zeal. And tonight, tonight,
Tonight is your night. Tonight is your night of visitation. Anyone with a willing heart ready to receive I saw God pouring his spirit upon us. You may be seated. I will ask pastor who should give us about 10 minutes word. Then we get ourselves torn loose. We will receive Reverend Osu Chirekun. He is the regional overseer of North America. Shall we receive? Hallelujah. Please take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Brother, I thought you should have continued the whole thing because the way you are charged you now. I don't know what I'm doing here at this time. You are too charged. Hallelujah. Well, let's share a word of prayer. Father, we thank you this evening. We bless you for bringing your people together. Have your own way tonight. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, can you please clap for yourselves? Amen. I want to salute the prophet for this opportunity to share with such honorable persons tonight. Amen. I feel very privileged. I salute uh, Pastor Charles O'Reilly, right? William O'Reilly. Yes, God bless you. God bless. Please, let's appreciate the man of God. Amen. <laughs> I want to say a few things and I'll bring the prophet back to do what he does best by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. But I must say that I'm very inspired uh, to see people in the tertiary institutions who love God, who know God, who fear God, and who are passionate for God. Why don't you put hands together for yourselves? It is very, very, very encouraging. In the U.S., you hardly find something like this. So my heart is gladdened that uh, our, our future leaders have a design and love for God. Amen. Um, hunger is good. So much hunger is good. Yes. Uh, wherever God finds hunger, he blesses the people. Whenever God finds hunger, hunger for God is a treasure. And I'm so happy that you are, you are hungry for God. And we're expecting God to bless you. Amen. I hear there's only one university in Ghana, right? KU and okay. I never knew that. I never knew that. I never I, I, I'm sorry, sorry for starting up trouble. I didn't. Amen. So please, my desire is that. Your hunger will go up and up, and you keep your hunger. I, I look through the Bible, when people are hungry, God responds. Anytime people who are hungry and are determined to seek God and to find God, God somehow comes to, to, to them. If you are indifferent, if you are passive, if you are pathetic, God is not really much attracted to you. Oh, I'm sorry about that, but that's what it is. Whatever people are determined, there's a guy who was crippled, he came to a meeting like this, the whole place was full, so he couldn't come in. And he could have gone home. But together with his friends, they found a way to come into the temple. They broke somebody's roof. And Christ didn't say, why are you breaking roofs? He didn't come condemn them for their breaking of roofs or breaking of whatever, but he went and commended them and gave the guy a miracle. Hallelujah. Give God a clap of free tonight. Keep your hunger, keep your passion. God will respond to you. Hallelujah. Very, very important. I'm not be very short. But there are two kinds of hunger, you know. Two kinds, two kinds. Hunger to be blessed and hunger to be used. 
hunger to be blessed by God, hunger to be anointed by God and to be used by God. I don't, I don't think we have any problem with those who want to be blessed. Any, any, anybody? No. We all want to be blessed, isn't it? That's okay. That's okay. But tonight, I just came to uh, tickle you a little bit and push you to the level where you want hunger to be anointed and hunger to be used by God. Somebody say amen. Yeah. I see all of you here as the next leadership of this nation and of the world. The next part people are here tonight. Great people are here tonight. But I want to encourage you that beyond being blessed and beyond being promoted, you want to be hungry for the voice of God. Hungry for the use of God. Hungry for the power of God to make a difference in this world. If you combine academics and the power of God, then the world is in for a treat. I'm waiting for anointed uh, uh, physicians, anointed doctors, anointed engineers, anointed accountants, anointed pilots across the face of the globe, making a difference and making an impact in the name of the Lord. Put your hands together and give God a hand clap for me. Hallelujah. So tonight, the way that the man of God started, there's going to be really mighty downpour, mighty anointing, mighty unction. So open up your spirit and receive. Not just for yourself, but to be used by God in the hands of God for the world we live in. Give God a clap offering. Hallelujah. I'm going to jump. So it's a decision to make. I'm going to jump all the way and give one scripture and I close. Let's go in our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 49. I will take my time and take a few, five minutes to explain this to you then I, I, I bring Isaiah 49 let me read two scriptures okay first of all I'm reading from Genesis chapter 12 it says that then the Lord the Lord said unto Abraham leave your country and your kindred and your father's household and go to the land I will show you I will make you say I will make you I will make you a great nation and I'll bless you and I'll make your name great so that you will be a blessing. Next verse says that, and I will bless those. Let's forget about that. Let's go to the last part. It says that, and out of you, all the, well, all the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So the Abrahamic blessing wasn't just some few dollars in your pocket. Or few, no, it was beyond dollars and cars and houses. Are you getting me? The Brahmi blessing was beyond just getting a nice car, uh, getting a visa, getting a break. It was it's part of it. But beyond that, when God was calling Abraham, his goal was that out of Abraham's life, all the families of the earth will be blessed. God wants to make you an international blessing. Hallelujah. An international icon international prophet, international engineer. So many people are going to be blessed by you. But look at the first I want to make, uh, talk about first. One says that, and I will make you, say I will make you. Listen, God is a maker. He just, he doesn't just bless, but he makes you. He does something in you. He goes beyond your mind, your, your desire, into your soul, into your spirit, into your body, and begins to fasten you to become something. Hallelujah. To not be, up, be, be anointed. Desire that God will make something. God will touch your soul. God will break you. God will form you. And God will make something precious out of you. Somebody say amen. amen. Say God is a maker. Amen. Now, I would encourage you. Allow God to make you. Allow God to make you. Because your current state is good. But it can be better. When God brings his two hands into your life into your desires, into your passion, into your soul, into your mind, and begin to make you. Something good will come out of you. Some of you don't really like, like yourself. You don't like yourself. Some of you don't like yourself. But listen, if you give God a chance, he, he will make you into something beautiful. Something glorious. People don't like you. People talk about you. People talk against you. But when God is giving the permission to work in your life, the product will be Gloriously awesome. Give God some praise tonight. 
We got some praise. Hallelujah. So let me let, let me just land. <laughs> let me land on uh, Isaiah chapter 49. I'll read a few, a few, about two or three verses. Uh, I'm reading from Isaiah 49, verse 1, there about. And where am I? Okay. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. So God can even make your mouth. Some of your mouth is some way. Hello? Some of you, you yourself, you say, oh, this is my mouth. Because your mouth is some way. You know, some little lies here, some gossip here. Some can really, really insult you. Uh, some can really, really insult, you know. I don't know, I don't know. But God says he wants to make your mouth. How many of you? <laughs> How I many are we ready for that? Say, God make my mouth. <laughs> God can make your mouth and use your voice and your, your words to bless lives. That's what you want. Amen? But let's move on. It says that uh, in the shadow of his hand has he hit me. That's one. Two, and he has made me a polished shaft. Three, in his quiver has he hit me. Okay, I'm going to say, take a few minutes. So the idea is like this. He has hid you in his hands, right? And then he goes ahead to make you like a polished shaft. And then he puts you in his quiver. So there are three locations here. Location number one is in the hand of God. Number two, the workings of God or the makings of God. And number three, the quiver of God. If you stay in the quiver, in the hand of God, he will make you. When he's done, he will put you in his quiver. And he's going to release you as an arrow to the world. Oh, you didn't hear that. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. You didn't hear that. Yeah. If you stay in his hand and allow him and I permit him to get into your conscience, your soul, your desire, your will, everything, in the process, he will make you something. And when he's done making you, he will put you into his quiver. And whenever he's ready, if he has a target, He'll just put you in a, in, a, in a bowl and fly you to Dubai. He'll fly you to Thailand. He'll fly you to Hong Kong. He'll fly you to Parliament House. He'll fly you to Jubilee House. He'll fly you to nations to be a blessing. Give God a club offering. So my simple prayer is that when he hides you in his hand, don't jump. Don't run away. Don't jump ship. In its making process, it can be uncomfortable. But stay, stay put. Let him finish what he's doing. When he's done. Oh. In fact, the next, the next verse says that, the next verse says that, uh, I don't have time. The next verse says that, uh, what, is, what do you say? He says, God will say, you are my servant, verse 3, in whom I will display my splendor. Ooh. You are my servant, in him I will display my splendor. So please don't run from God. And let me just suggest to you before I, I take my seat. Because in a prophetic service, you don't, you don't talk too much. You are not a prophet. You are too charged. Uh, to, to, you are too charged. Like, oh God, what am I doing here? Now, uh, are, you here? <laughs> are you here with me somebody? Let God have his way in your life. You see, when we started serving God, that's 40 years ago. I'm an old man here. I'm just pretending to be young. I'm just... Somebody once told me, if people tell you, what did they say? If people tell you, you look young, don't be happy. They didn't say you are young. They said you look young. I look young, but I'm not that young. 40 years ago, when we began, one of our major focuses or foresight or focus is God work on me and use me. I pray that will be your focus. That will be your desire. That God come into my soul. Break me, mold me, change me, fashion me. And let me become an arrow in your hand. And use me in the world we live in. If that is your desire, God will hear you tonight. God will come into your prayer chamber. God will come into your room. In your quiet time moments, God will come there. God will visit you. And God will do a work in you. And five years from now, 
10 years from now we shall hear your name we shall hear your voice we shall feel you we shall read your books we shall listen to your tape listen you are the next generation god's eyes are on you we are counting on you don't disappoint yourself your pastor nor anybody but be available so that god will shoot you forth into the world as his splendor and as his glory put your hands together and give god some praise let's receive the man of please welcome the man of god the clap offering oh hallelujah he is giving us a very prophetic word what God is about to make you and use you what God told me in my spirit was that as the world becomes tough and difficult as if they are moving away from God his spirit is also going to raise people that will face whatsoever is fighting his system and these are the people he's going to raise mark and see 10 years time 20 years time 30 years time mark and see these people and those who are watching if a young man a young lady be glad your season and your time is now he made a statement be seated thank you i'll talk for 10 minutes then i will do the rest don't mind me eh that is me if you put a fish in the water it will swim so that's my nature hallelujah god spoke to me that there are great people here he want to make and release but those who are hungry and he just said it that's why I say he's a prophet. So those who are hungry and thirsty, he's going to fill them. And that is the secret of becoming great. Your passion. And God is going to fill it. Amen. Who is eight years here? No eight years. There's no eight years. Is it eight years? Okay, bring that eight year boy here. Okay, you are eight years. Stand here. Don't be afraid. There is another one. Is it? any other one you are eight years good it's good you are eight years have you seen this eight year boy stand there there was a time a king at this age was chosen. Who knows the king? Josiah. How many of you will take the instruction of this boy? <laughs> Who is Andrew? Andrews. Come here. I wanted a boy. I got a boy. 
So, there are two, but I'll pray for them later. You're Andrew. He's Andrew. Then you don't need to come. Great. That's Andrew. A great future is born. You are prophetic word to all of this. God will raise them and make them great. At the age of eight, God chose a young boy or a young boy came to the throne called Josiah. I love it. The Bible said, I love the Can we read some few chapters, uh, verses of it? It's 34 or so. Second Chronicle chapter 34. The verse 1. Let me pray for this gentleman. Gracious Father, you know, you are raised up to destroy evil system. There is something in you like Daniel that nothing can change. For I will strengthen thee, I will hold thee, I will make you a light among men. In your system fear, I will touch and begin to show thee your purpose in life. In your 20th year, you begin to see someone will try to break your confidence, but I will hold that confidence up. I let nothing stop thee. God bless you. So just what does the uh, second chronicle? Yeah, verse one. Josiah was what? Eight years old when he became what? King. And reigned how many years? 31 years in Jerusalem. Wow. The verse two says, and he did what was what? He did what was what? Right in the sight of the Lord. There are certain things they are right in the sight of man. They are right politically, but wrong in the sight of God. God wants people and God wants to choose you out of this world so that you will stand to do what is right in the sight of God. I am I love it. And walk in the ways of his father David. He did not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Let's jump to verse. For in the what? Eighth year of what? His reign. Those who did mathematics. How old will he be? Sixteen. So, the sixteen year. For in the eighth year of his reign, while he was still young, he began. Say he began to do what? To seek who? The God of his fathers, of David. That is why you are here. This group is from the new breed, from Sistine. This is the time that you are conscious to begin to seek God's face for yourself. 
I love this gentleman. He began to seek the face of this father David, and in the 12th year, he began to what? Page. So he was 20 years. 12 plus 8. 20. So the time he was doing it, he's among us. This is the group that changed situation. So don't say, I am young. Don't say, I am small. Don't let anybody describe you. That you are only a youth. In fact, youth are the one that kills the giant. The old man, no, when this man became old, David, he met a similar giant. And the giant almost killed him. So God is about to release you. But he first sought the face of his father. By the 20th year, he's gathered all the strength to be able to purge Judah and Jerusalem of the high places, the wooden images, the carved images, and the molding images. Who put them there? The fathers. While Christianity moved on, it started dying off. And we started replacing it. But there are some group that must come and say, this is how God wants us to worship him. Don't let the world intimidate you. You should intimidate them. When it comes to SRC, you people must get there. It's not for unbelievers. It is for you. Take control over Legon. Take control. Those worship me in Ken USC. Today, take control. The high places belong to you. You are the one that can change the situation. Don't just sit down passively, like a passive citizen in the school. Be active. Don't let anyone intimidate you in the schools. Show forth your faith like Daniel, like Meshach, like Abednego. Show forth your faith like Samuel. In the midst when the priest's children were doing all kind of other things, they stood up and stood up for the right, saw the face of the Lord, and God spoke and he heard it. Don't be like anybody but stand like Joseph. Who every place that he went, God was with him. Even in the prison, God prospered the prisoners. The guy was the prosperity. He was the blessing. The day they took him from Potiphar's house, Potiphar started losing his power. They put him into prison. The prisoners began to enjoy. And some had life. Revelation started coming into prison. The day they took him from prison to uh, Pharaoh's house, solutions started coming. You are made to solve problems. And never allow anybody to say that spiritual things are stupid. Because the carnal people can never understand the spiritual man. Be bold. Every meeting, get yourself involved. And God is going to use you greatly. Tonight, God is going to pour his spirit upon us. He said in the last day, he will pour his spirit upon what? All flesh. And my what? His what? Sons and daughters. They shall do what? Say prophesy. There are prophets among you. There are teachers among you. There are great men among you. 
I believe the spirit of the Lord has the power to change. Sometimes, some of some of us are struggling with some sins. Let me tell you the truth. When God's spirit comes upon you, he has the power to break every yoke in your life. This gentleman was struggling with marijuana, uh, drugs, did everything good. For a month now, he came into the presence of God. And shoop. I didn't take him to rehabilitation, uh, uh, any place to be rehab to come and go and sometimes you take the net, they come back, they, <laughs> they said they have. <laughs> but the Holy Spirit can hold you. He said, no, I don't have the, the desire even for it. Say, I have struggled to stop. In them, I try to stop. I have some withdrawal symptoms. But just in the presence of the Lord, him, I decided to hate it. You will sit down, advise him. If you are the mother, you insult him. I know Ghana. They won't understand. Ghana, Ghana father say, look, was I like that? No. The person want to stop. He can't stop. You are also adding. So what some will do, some of you do, you hide it. You go underground. But the moment you see, they say you are a bad person. But I believe the Holy Spirit has power to change life. And some of you will be totally changed. You will be another man. You will be another woman. You will be another girl. You will be another boy. I have experienced the Holy Spirit changing people. I think I gave you some testimony about a young man. On Thursday, one Thursday at Bedding Power. So yes, back. I was praying and I was laying hands on people. This is my mouth. He made it like, like he said. What is it? Just say, sharp. In fact, somebody quoted it to me. The person, the man, and when he so I know you say, oh God, I've made my mouth like a sharp knife. <laughs> this boy at school, he used to be in one of these side schools. Now when they say well, bong, it would be understand bong. The guy, look, whatever you teach him, he doesn't understand. Then when I was laying hands, I got to him. This prophet, how he doesn't know. I laid my the mother was standing and said, You shall be a doctor. The mother laughed. <laughs> 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 oh, this prophet, once he's made a mistake. <laughs> but this is not the person that can be a because in his class, his last. Anytime he gained a position, it means that the person was sick or didn't take the exams. Should I end it here? I should finish the story. And after I've prophesied, the mother said, Quote, he came, said, Prophet, I want to see you. I said, Do you mean this, my son? She almost made me change my mind after telling me the story. <laughs> She almost said, oh, I, I, I almost said, oh, uh, I was prophesying, but I don't know whether it was God or it is me. Because the way she said the thing, if you are not sh- careful, you will reverse your prophecy. I said, well, that is how I felt God was speaking to them. There's nothing which God cannot do. 
and the boy broke and started crying. He said, the first time somebody have had confidence in me that I can do something in life. It changed his habit. It changed his attitude. It changed the boy. He went back to school. First, because the teachers have given him up, the mother, the parent, when he won't learn, he'll be troubling the other uh, child because he won't even. So, anytime they call the parent, trouble is in the school. And the first time something happened, they did some, I think, mass, mass, listen, it was very difficult. And the boy got all correct. The teacher said, no, this boy, he's a very bad boy. He might have seen the answer somewhere and copied it before. But he was consoled. But the boy seems to be very careless too. But even if you copy and say you should copy, he will copy it wrongly. So if he was able to copy this one correct, then that is a mark for him. So he took him aside and gave him a similar thing and he got it. From that day, his confident booster. He left that side of school. I think they used to sit what they call common entrance. He passed, came to Achimota. I think went to Turkey and did medicine. And now a professor. Look, there's no one here that is without a value. Your future is great. What you are going through today does not determine your tomorrow. spirit of the Lord is going to stir you up and move you to the next level. Say next level. You shouldn't be where you are. Next level. Hallelujah. So we will we'll just get up. And how many of you uh, 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 want the Holy Spirit to be upon your life? How many of you desire God to touch you? Great. Just tell him you want more of him. You have won the victory. Mm. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Just worship him. Nothing can also hold you. to worship him. We're going to praise him in the midst of what? Praises. God dwell. As we worship him, he will descend in our midst. I'm seeing giant coming out of this place. God's spirit is going to come upon men and women. 
and I saw some running all around with divine strength. And the same way you run, so shall your speed be. Yep. How can I describe? Just join them. A God that's indescribable. the Lord is going to come upon your head from your head to your toe and you are going to be another man the sign will follow you he said we are here Just worship him from your heart. Spirit is going to come upon some people here.
and I'll put my power upon their life. Tonight, you have chess. I'll open your eyes. I will break that yoke and I will use you to break other yoke. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yokes have been broken. Bring them here. Fire rise coming. this place resting upon people that whosoever is willing I will feel tonight one two three take it take it take it presence here I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit God is making men and women he is making something out of you God is preparing hundred thousands God is preparing young ladies young men God is preparing you your time your season
is the first group. The second group will soon become, I want to annoy them. It look like, count them if they are 25. Count this one that I have, they are 25. I'll annoy them if not, if not. How many? Exactly 25. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. saw grace five times that's why I said 25 who is grace over there you car oh for you I've been looking for you Look, when I was coming I heard God has given to me so and I saw people rejoicing and the spirit of the Lord came upon them and the joy of the Lord became their strength Amen. you will be a giant your name shall be a key in your family who could you attend National College. What's your name? And um, rejoice. So we're going to rejoice. Yeah. I thought we finished. Well, we're going to rejoice. What do you mean of the? What do you mean of Enam? Um, what? God has what? God has. God has given me. God is here to give. Your strength, favor. She's a prophetic word. My heart is not free. Because I've heard. about to leave isn't it who is Kinsley did you did she tell you she was leaving did you speak to the parent just this evening before 10 or after 10 after 10 a little but the parent were worried Tell your parent, if they had made you go, you would have. 
the key to the family would have been locked. Is that how God works? She so was looking for this lady. If she had to have been mentioning a name and nobody is here. I don't know you. I don't even know your parent. I wasn't aware. But there's a reason. You thought we we're going to close at 10. Your parent thought we would live here at 10. And the thing has moved almost to 12. Today, rejoice. A key. No.
I saw the dove moved. And it moved as if it was going to Legon, as if it was landing in Legon. And some people here from Legon take it, take it, receive it. Bring them here, bring all of them, bring them here. I sing, I'll just be, I'll go, I'll, I'll leave just room. Don't worry, we'll close just now. A goodness, when we're singing it, I say, God, goodness. Prayers have been answered. God is releasing men and women. And something was happening. As we take it, God's spirit is going to sweep around in this room and everywhere. And you shall never be the same. You're going to experience the goodness of God. Ta, 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 ta.
while we are doing, I saw a birthday cake. I saw a birthday cake. Today's date is what? You shall be. Today is a day. A day of divine favor. Your time and your season. This is your kick. Today is a day of visitation. And from today onward, your life shall not be the same. Just be quiet. In your stillness, the Spirit of the Lord will baptize, will pour upon some people right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Just bring all them. God is working a work in you. He's doing a new work in you. For I am the Lord thy God. I will never leave you nor forsake you. For my time of visitation is now. And I will start from my hand and go before you. And I'll march ahead of you and make a way before you. You shall not be afraid, for I will not leave you. I will never fail you. For my hand shall go ahead of you, and my fingers shall fight a battle for you. For this is the day that I have made. That I will commune with you and talk with you. That I will speak to you and speak to your spirit. For I am the Lord thy God. The time and the season to lift you up is now. I will take away your shame and I will bring out your glory. Your glory, your glory, your glory is coming. Your glory is coming. Now the glory is coming upon you. I see. Kiona Kaya Lakwa. Zila Grassi. Makrasamota Zala Gracia Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All over. All over. All over. Look at it. God is risen. President, risen. Ministers, risen. Prophet, risen. Pastors, risen. Teachers, risen. Great people among you. The sponsors of the kingdom. God is raising them, touching them, causing his own hand to rest upon their life. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see a light on God's people. You're shining and darkness could not hold you. I see a light all around you. And darkness shall have no power upon you. 
for this is your season and your time Lord rest upon their head Holy Spirit do a new work in their life Lord fulfill your miracles upon her so her life shall never be the same grace upon you favor upon you you are moving to the next level of your life for the lord thy god shall make you you will stand out everywhere you go for god's favor is going to be upon you for i will give you a new name oh take care Grace. Let it take it. Thank you.
you seen myself lying down? This is myself lying down. It's called Christopher Yao Ano. Great. How many of you, God bless? I think we ought to be doing this spiritual exercise so that I can have the opportunity to impart into you spiritual gifts. That's what Paul said. Uh, we will continue to do that. The person may be You see, we don't want to get these spineless Christians where Satan can be playing rough with them. We want you to be very strong in whatever you are. Spiritual giant. Weakness in every area of life. That is what you are. Thank you very much. And God bless you. If you're a young man and you couldn't jump like me, you need to jump more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us get some. Ah. Oh, sir.
together. Let's show them. Listen. As the children of the Lord, oh, you can make more noise than this. Ah, as the children of the Lord, hey. children of the Lord, hey. children of Jehovah, hey. children of Joshua, hey. children of the Lord, hey. children of the Lord, hey. sing God, hallelujah, hey. dance hallelujah, hey. hallelujah in the mess, hallelujah in the hallelujah.
professional studies buses are available to take you and those of you who are living on this side of town you can also find a bus that will take you there is that okay